yes hello everyone it is uh, the next video yes hello everyone this is the next video what i want to share here which is nothing but the distributor fed at both ends with unequal voltages let me write down here this is the dc distributor dc distributor fed with unequal voltages unequal voltages yes so dc distributor with unequal voltages sorry this is unequal voltages it's a yes so dc distributor which has been fed at unequal voltages again uh, this is a dc distributor with the uniform loading with uniform loading fed at fed at both ends fed at both ends which is being present there so dc distributor along with the uniform loading which has been fed at both ends again what type of voltages with unequal voltages with unequal voltages okay so next what you can identify here is so let the dc distributor be fed from the feeding points a and b with a different set of voltages unlike what we analyzed it in the previous one i'll be having uh, two sets of uh, voltages i mean the different set of voltages here so which is va and vb which is being present here so now now if i want to analyze it with respect to two unequal voltages so va will not be equal to vb there so both the a voltages are said to be at unequal levels there so now the minimum point of uh, potential i'll take another point of potential again uh, uh, to represent it as a uniform loading i'll be having uh, the currents would be i here again so these are the currents which is being uh, represented there so suppose the point of minimum potential c is situated at a distance of x meter from the feeding point a so now let me mark a point c here what it means here is so from feeding point a i'll be having a distance of x meters from the feeding point a so if i want to move it from a along this side i'll be having it moving with x meter from point a to point c which is being present here so now that is at a distance of x meters from point a then current supplied by the feeding point a will be small i into x so at c is the minimum potential therefore uh, there is no current at this point so consequently the current in section ac will be i into x because if there are no feeding points which are being uh, present there no current uh, which is being present there up to this point so that point will be generally called as i into x unlike what we say here so you'll be having some values of the current say a so i have chosen any point so if i want to choose this if i don't have any current so that would be again x meters that is being present there at this point there that is what i wanted to share here so now if i want to calculate the voltage drop voltage drop in section ac how would you do that so voltage drop in section ac so now what you need here is current i and the resistance that is being present there so what you want to do here is so i into x will be the current and r into x will be the resistance there so i into x and r into x so that would be for the entire section there so now this is the minimum point of voltage that has been present i into r times x squared divided by 2 so that is the voltage drop of the section ac which is being present in volts as the distance of c from the feeding point b so if i want to measure this distance that is l minus x there so this is the distance as l minus 6 that is being present there so therefore current fed at b will be equal to i into lx l minus x so current current fed at point b current fed at point b will be will be i into l minus x that is being present there 
So now if I want to calculate uh, the voltage drop across this section, so X will be replaced again by L minus X, the whole square. So now the voltage drop at point C, if you want to calculate it. So again, uh, you can calculate it by both ends, which is being uh, present there. So that's where you can uh, find out what is the difference of voltage levels there. So let me clear this. What we can uh, generally find out is voltage drop in section BC. If you have uh, seen the diagram, voltage drop in section BC, voltage drop in, yeah, voltage drop in section BC. Well, how you can find out voltage drop in section BC? I into R, L minus X, the whole square, divided by two. Next, voltage at point C. Voltage at point C. Voltage at point C. So that is VC, that would be VA minus voltage drop over section AC. So if I want to find out uh, the voltage drop at point C with respect to A, I repeat, with respect to point A here, VA minus drop over, drop over AC. So VA, what has been given there as VA minus I into R X squared divided by 2 there. So now if I want to calculate the voltage at point C, VC will be equal to again with respect to B, with respect to B there, voltage voltage at point C, voltage at point C, VC will be equal to again, which is VB minus drop over section BC, drop over section BC there. So what you can find out is VB minus, what you can find out is I into R, L minus X the whole squared divided by two. So this is what we can get here. So I'll be comparing uh, two equations here, equation one and uh, equation two. I'll be uh, having, I want to find out what is the point X that we can find out given the uh, voltages and uh, current and uh, resistance, which are expressed in per meter values there. So I'll be equating both the equations here. So I'll be equating equation one and equation two, which is being present there. So VA minus I into R, x squared divided by 2. So that would be equal to VB minus I into R, I into R, L minus X, the whole squared divided by 2. So what you can find out is X, which is VA minus VB divided by I into R into L plus what is being given there? L by 2, which is being left out. As all the quantities uh, which is being present, in this uh, equation, equation three, let me write out. So if VA is known, VB is known, okay? So L will be given to you, the length of the distributor, I into R uh, into L, you are uh, knowing it easily. And uh, all these can, uh, quantities with uh, known values are being given there on this equation set. So X can be calculated easily. So that is the value of the X where we will be having the minimum potential being occurring. So X distance, some meters will be there. So this would be the minimum point, minimum potential across the distributor, minimum potential across the distributor, minimum potential across the distributor. So minimum potential. So this occurs, say some, uh, the length of the distributor would be some uh, 100 meters there. So A and B, which is being present. So some X will be the distance that is being present there. This is the point C. So X, what will be the distance that, that would be 100 meter. So this 100 meter from anywhere that is being present uh, from preferably from uh, X, uh, that is from the feeding point A, you can generally find out it as some X meters, that is 100 meters that is being present there. So that is how you can calculate the minimum potential where it occurs. So that's how uh, you can calculate the distributor, which is being fed at both ends with unequal voltages. Okay, so let me stop it here.